He won the fight. He clearly won, but it was the moment, a couple moments where the, the court could have turned out to stop him. He was done. He, he was done. See, what I think is, I yeah. think Shakur is in a bad place because everybody compared him to Tank. And boxing love knockouts. And Tank puts niggas' electricity off. But it's different styles of boxing. You know what I mean? You got motherfuckers who, who they, they put your head in the beehive and sting your shit all night. And then you got motherfuckers that could just turn your electricity off. People got, because because Shakur and Tank is around the same division, and they talk shit to each other, yeah, people appreciate Shakur's style a little bit less because Tank knocked niggas out. And that's what niggas like to see in any and type of And at the same time, comments. they don't produce the same. So what about me? Right now, you, you're doing good. You're doing excellent. But it waits a time. Oh, so I, I am on that list. No, you're not. I'm talking about as far as, as, far as your title shot when your time comes, but you're not on Tank's list because Tank got a certain amount of fights that he's off in the sunset. And that, But when that time comes, I'm going to show people and say, oh, he's running from Keyshawn, but that's not the case. Hey, how do you get on that list? I'm going to be on that list. So how do you get on that list, Kenny? Tell me, you the coach. Like, I, don't, I, I, won't, I won't be on that list. Second nature to you niggas. Yeah. So, it be about the money, money when you get to a certain point. So, I got a if, question, Gilly. Just, yeah. as a, just off of you knowing boxing, but still on a fan perspective type shit. When I go in there and I and I destroy Frank Martin, whether I get the knockout or I just destroy him. Now they saying, we need to see Keyshawn Davis versus Javante Davis. Keyshawn, okay, cool. Keyshawn, we need to see him versus Tank. I want to. I definitely would love to see you knock him out. You feel what I'm saying? Me too, Kenny. Not that. Wait a minute. Let me take that back. I don't want to see him get knocked out for this fight. I want to see you, like you just said it. If you could do it. If you can do it. Right. Now imagine you come in there, and Frank is my guy, just hypothetically speaking. Imagine yeah. you came in there and got Frank out of there in three rounds. Yeah. Now they like, Now they can pay. I, I want to see this nigga first take. Right. Now, they be saying, fuck all the other niggas. <laughs> we don't want to see him versus them. We want to see him versus Keisha. Yeah. So, that's how it works. Yeah, the okay. fans got to start calling for that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Hey, do y'all feel like, like do y'all feel like Tank is going to fight Loma before this year end? I think he's going to fight uh, uh, next. I believe so. Before I do. Before year end? Yeah. That's what I'm trying. No. Yeah. Yeah. If you ask me. Loma Tinker don't got no chance against Tank. <laughs> Tank on flatline. No, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Loma Tinker's defense is not like a Shakur Stevenson, uh, a Devin Haney. Uh, oh, I could fight you on my back foot all night. You stepping out, step back. Yeah, but I would keep those names, but you y'all gotta start putting me that kind. Of, my no, defense what is I'm crazy. Saying, listen. Listen, listen, I'm, listen. I'm not listening. I'm, no, right. I'm, I'm not discrediting what you're saying, Gilly, but all listen, I'm saying is... Listen, I'm not saying that, that you're not like on them a, niggas' yeah. level. All no, I'm saying I, is look, that up, you this, haven't this, accomplished what they accomplished. Hey, you say, right. That's all. Correct. Hey, hey, you, you can say what you want. He's an undisputed champion. Hey, He's like the hey, undisputed champion in the history I, of boxing. I respect you. I respect you as a fighter, right? But it's something I just don't understand because you mentioned it on 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 a podcast of mine. So hit me out before you say something. You me. lost four times to the Cuban boy, right? Yeah. You turned pro, you went back, and you lost again. Okay. And I just read, I just read an argument where he called you his step star. Okay. Listening to you on your podcast, talking to other people, I, I hear your heart, your temperament. Is there anything in your DNA that say I got to get this motherfucker right now? Because you call a tank out. So you ain't I don't never see me in an interview saying I will. You ain't never seen any of you talk about this boy? I did. I, you, you, I, I you missed ain't it. Never, Gilly, did you ever hear me call him out and like set shit you straight with this? With this yeah, tell Eddie Hearn set that shit up. I, I, Wait a minute. Oh I missed God. that. Listen, listen. I missed that. But you should be calling him out constantly like, no, like you call him out. No, nah, that nigga is a one ass boy. What happened in the images happened in the images. I can't go back. No, I agree. Hear me out. I can't go back and take. I can't go back and fight again. This shit is over. Now that we're moving on. This is no. Keisha, 
Let me ask you a question. Oh, no, he had, I, Mill, he didn't ask me my question yet. Go ahead, bro. Like, bro, <laughs> bro, you got to realize, bro, I'm a, I'm a, niggas going to bring up take name in the interviews, my nigga. So I, I did not ask, like, I, he's like, I'm not being funny. about anybody, I'm going to answer it, bro. So I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm not going to say nothing about take name. You can't, you can't, question. you can't plead the fifth. Okay, okay, okay. Cause this is gonna be everywhere. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna plead the fifth every time a nigga say something about Tank Nate until I beat Frank Martinez. How about 365 that? days. I I I'm asking all the top lightweights not to say Tank Nate for 365 days. No, they can't listen. Let me just plead the fifth. If somebody mentioned it, I plead the fifth. That's all I'm asking. Why are you so worried about niggas saying tank name? That's coach, coach, let me say this, coach. Let me just 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 say this, coach. Ain't nobody throwing him under the bus. What's what's the problem? Get the fight, game, coach. I want to build a name without using tank name. Give me talk to him, give me because he's not here. This 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 the fight game, coach. It's like this, man. If you at the top of the mountain, coach, you know how it go, man. I want to be at the top of the mountain. Nigga, we both weigh 135 all pounds. We fight that 135 pounds. All got to do is keep doing what he's doing. He's going to be at the top of the mountain. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking in reference to the to, to the people calling Tank name out. Tank is the biggest draw in boxing. These young niggas is hungry. They starving. They mouths watering. They want that same motherfucking love, that same respect, that same hype, that same build up. They want all of that. So of course they gonna call tank name out. That just come with the game, OG. You know that. You know, know that. But if they, they know if, if they keep doing what they what? doing, they won't be there. What's the problem? Let's be What's the problem with me for real. About? Let's be for real. Allen Iverson never said it, but when he stepped on that court, he was like, "Fuck Mike, man." Mike about to get this fucking work, man. And I'm when, about to work when, Mike when the fuck out play. tonight. He said he's he he Michael play. Jordan. Ain't everybody want to work Michael Jordan the fuck out. Right now, Javante Davis is Michael Jordan. But you said, you said, Alan Alvarez never said it. He never said it. And you know what happened when he was each other. And I'm AI. AI straight from the town. I'm from the town. AI straight from the town. We don't play that I, shit. We ain't seen that again. That shit. And I'm not just talking. And Kitty, you know I'm not just talking, bro. Again, when I fight, fight, I'm on your boy ass, bro. Hey. No cap. How do you business? How do you business with Frank? You know who I am. Yo, you know I am. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Just like just like you ain't know how much dog I had, right? Fuck out of here. I said you, you know. chose the dog in that fight. You know. It takes nah. more than that, though. Can you be well, Kenny? And I can see, I can see, I can see right through that shit, Kenny. <laughs> you be well, man. I wish, wish your boy was up here. We can have a private. We can have a little FaceTime. I wish your boy was up here. We got a little FaceTime. I don't gotta be on the media because y'all want to say it's all. It's all about the I said you showed some like, dog in that fight, man. Yeah, man. Y'all got me hype. Don't worry about it. You show hype, Kenny. Let me worry ask. About it. I, I want to ask. I want to ask you a key shot a question. Shakur, Keyshawn, you first. Shakur yes, fight tank. How was ended? Decision. In a decision. Who? Yep. Who wins? <laughs> Who wins? Y'all can hear me? Who wins? Shakur. Okay. How how was the fight ending if Shakur and Tank fight, coach? Stop it. I respect Keyshawn's opinion, though, but Tank is stop What do you think about Keyshawn Davis and Frank Martin? Keyshawn Davis and Frank Martin. I want your honest opinion. But, because I'm, I'm going to keep it all the way real. You know. <laughs> is he stopping him? That nigga Frank Martin looked good against that nigga Tank for the first five I, rounds. I, I, I think it'll go to decision. Who winning, though? I ain't hear that part. You, I think I can get you that quick. I think said that quick. Yeah. I, I, you get him on decision. If, if you stop him, that's, that's great too, you know? Hey, you think it's going to be a 50 50 fight, or do you think it, do you do you go more like 60 40? How do you. How do you is it. Oh, does, he got a chance? Does, does Frank Martin got a chance in this fight? Do we have a chance? Yeah. 
Yeah, they go through this courthouse with what the judge is looking at. But right now, got Keisha on beat. He, Keisha got a, a bit more dog than Frank Martin. And Gil, Blake, how do you have that? I think Keisha on win, win, a, a winning decision. Mm. Mm. What decision? And and what he, he might be a late start. Stop it. Keisha, I think you know, a decision. A decision is not going to scream. I think Davis right. So you know you got to do more. No, that's not the truth. Okay. It depends on. It depends on what type. Let me just say something. Floyd Mayweather never knocked niggas out, but he put your fucking head in a beehive and stung your shit. <laughs> a thousand he, put a, he, he put a classic ass whooping on you, though. You right about that. Look at him. 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 <laughs> You're getting stung all over the place. So, let's keep it real. And you, hey. you didn't mind seeing the ass whooping because you like, these all clean punches, too. He ain't knocking the nigga out, but damn, that nigga face like this is slow motion. Hey, no cap. So, if he put a tremendous ass whipping on a nigga, some, some nights niggas just ain't going to go. Pitbull wasn't going to go. Tank hit Pitbull with some shit. But, but you, I'm talking you know, clean look, shit. We was about to pull out of that Pitbull fight. You feel me? Yeah. Some nights niggas ain't going to go. Tank, Tank was Tank wasn't he wasn't hundred percent in that fight. But 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 also you gotta understand too. Tank never landed clean punches like that on a motherfucker and they didn't go. <laughs> so at the end of the day, what makes an A-class fighter is you gotta have an A-class chin too. Ooh, not fast. So Gilly, my question to you is fast. if Tank had a matchup with uh Keyshawn Davis, how would you have it? So difficult because I feel traumatized every time I talk about it. You have any questions? I got take with it. How does he do, do it? Does, does, does Keyshawn have the chin insurance to stay up? I don't know. I've never seen nobody test Keyshawn's chin yet. Albright, mm. Albright. See, see, me, I'm this, I'm this dude, right? I'm this dude. I didn't believe in Ryan Garcia. Until Luke Campbell dropped that nigga and he got the fuck up and said, come on, let's go. I said, oh, he not just the poster boy for uh, American Eagle. <laughs> I said, oh, this motherfucker really could like. told a very different story. You feel what I'm saying? Because you don't know who you is until your chin gets set. Yeah. I think this old I seen Pitbull well, hit Tank with a fucking uppercut. Tank hold head did like this. <laughs> that nigga bounced right back like, come on, nigga. Tank ain't, tank ain't gonna fight you till you hit him. I said, okay. Hey, 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 that hey, nigga hey, got hey, a chin. Hey, City. Talk to me. Hey, Mill. Talk to me. You see my chicken get tested. Right? Absolutely. No, I so never did. I, I never how you, did. How you, how, you think, how you think me and Tank would go? Mm. Mm, it's a good. That's a good. That's a good fight. Um, right now, to be honest with you, I got tank right now, bro. Okay, why? How? Thanks. Experience. I respect that. I respect that's that. That's a so big part I, of it. That I experience. Seen you, I, I think I haven't you're seen you I think with that other a fighter yet, or that that you feel what I'm saying? Where it's like, yeah. okay, this nigga punch hard as shit. What, okay, you know what made Danny Garcia great? When he fought Lucas Matisse, he was a 5-1 to one underdog. Lucas Matisse was knocking everybody out. And then he went in and Jim clinked that nigga. That's when it's like, okay, that nigga's the truth. You feel what I'm saying? I haven't seen you at not saying that you can't do it because I when I look right. at the skills, I look at the distance, I look at the jab, I look at the the, the head movement. I I believe that you can do it. I just haven't right. seen you fight that nigga yet. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, push up, push up. Respect. You got you got all the skills. You got all the skills. I think that you deserve to be ranked where you're at. Can y'all at least like can we all agree on like at the end of the day? At the end of the day. We talk about a nigga that's only 11 and 0. But, hey, bro, Tank got 30 fights, my nigga. That's why I said. That's why I said. Hey, Keisha. Keisha, you're doing a good job. Keisha, you're doing a good job. Keisha, you're doing a good job. 
organization. You're the businessman. It's really kind of like mine. Keyshawn, you got a great team, great coach, and you a great fighter. But still got to right. still got to get the experience though. Got to go through the process. Right. So don't don't rush, I'm just saying, don't rush it. Not just with Tank, with any of the any of the top though. Right. In, in a minute, you might be. In the next couple of years, you might be <coughs> one forty. You know what I'm saying? How long? Like, can I, you make that weight too? Like, I'm AB not is my man, right? Years. I'm not. You look Adrian big. I'm not. Brona, I'm pause, but. <laughs> Adrian Broner is my man, right? I feel yeah. like that hindered AB career a little bit. Rushing the process. Mm, right. Instead of taking your time, AB said, fuck it. I'm going to jump from 135 to 147 and fight the biggest puncher in the division. Right. Why? When it's a bunch of niggas you could beat up at 140. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was supposed to be the, the next Floyd for show for show. But you got it got to be you got to understand, bro. It got to be a process to this shit. All the young niggas, one thing I can say about your, your generation, you niggas don't believe in the process. You niggas nah, niggas nah. Actually know would be like I nah, want to get right now. I, I no, Gilly, I think he, I think you believe he's supposed to do that 135 at top break right now. My, my, I think the hottest lightweight right now is a dude with me. Mm. Mm. Fire. Man, fuck all that. I mean, I, y'all gonna piss me off with that, but fuck all that. This is <laughs> what I gotta say. This is what I gotta say. Yeah. Bro fighting 126 pounders, y'all fucking praising him. Like, fuck, stop playing, bro. Like, come on, bro. That's his step up. He fighting 126 pounders, bro. Come on, Ooh. bro. Stop playing, but. Uh, uh, the nigga the, came from 126 to fight a doula, bro. Yeah, do y'all read No, it? no, I ain't mean to offend you. You in the top. Nah, nah, you in the top. Nah, 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 nah. I don't even want to talk about a doula. I just what I gotta say about the about the me, me tank and and uh, the experience shit. This 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 why I really kinda also put myself in the mix. Before tank for Frank, me and Frank was supposed to be like the next big lightweight that I was gonna have to fight. So I'm thinking, you know. Take me, I mean, me and Frank is kind of like on the same level type shit, right? So when Frank, when Tank fought Frank, that made me think like, well, hold the fuck on. I was supposed to fight Frank first, but okay, whatever. It supposed to, because shit don't work like that. Keep on the boxing goes to fight him. So it just made me think like, well, well, we all in the same boat then. Frank was never ahead of I think, I think, no, I think right, right now, right now, he got a better resume than you. And most likely, he might, might get that Shakur fight before you, too. Yeah, he will, he gonna get the Shakur fight before me, because I never go fight him. What about, this what, what about, I'm this what, what I'm about saying, just like we told you, right, think about back to the interview. What was one of the main things that Tank told Frank? He should have waited. You took this shit too early. You took this yeah. shit too early. You think it's a game? You should have waited. You took this shit too early. You need some more fights under your belt. Did you see when, when Tank was telling Frank that? Did you see Tank's face? Did you see the seriousness in that nigga's face? We Are know boxing. Yeah. We know boxing is 60% mental. You can have all the tools. Put the, put the, put the thing. Ooh, he the slickest nigga in the country. You ain't mentally there. Nigga gonna knock you the fuck out, man. He looked at that nigga like this. You took this too early. You should have waited. You think it's a game. I'm gonna show you. Frank may never be the same after taking that last fucking punch that he didn't even see coming. Cause that uppercut sat him up, and then that last joint he didn't hey, even see that hey, shit Gilly, coming. Gilly, hold on, Gilly, hold on, Gilly, don't fuck, real talk. Don't fuck up the fight. Don't fuck up the fight with me. <laughs> Gilly, hold on, Gilly, don't fuck up, don't fuck the fight up, man. I ain't fucking the fight up. I'm just saying. Take two, Frank, this shit. It's too soon. You should have waited. I tried to tell him. <laughs> So I tell <laughs> hey man, it is what it is, man. He was about to fight Shakur before that, so I mean, it's like it's like still like it's just I don't know, bro. It's all opinionated, bro. Type shit. It's all opinionated. He he got knocked out just like Rody did, just like um, Leo Santa Cruz did. Like all those you know experienced guys got the same treatment, bro. Got so I understand, but shit. Okay, they, let me ask they, you this question. Got knocked, they all got knocked out with one punch. Let me ask you this question too. 
right? Leo said the crew's never been the same. Yo, I ain't even came back yet. Okay. Right? I ain't even came back to the fort yet. Listen, Roly used to be a nigga that tried to walk niggas down. Tank knocked him the fuck out. He became a boxer. Nightmares. Tank nightmares. That motherfucker out there like this. Damn, Roly backing up trying to box. Nah. No. No. No, so, you're right. You're right. Frank may never Frank. be the same again. So, so how, much credit, key, so how, much, how much credit? How much credit? How much credit am I gonna get? I, I was good. I was great. Thank you. Move and move. Keep doing what you're doing. You got your, your coach off the chain. That's my man. Take your time. Yeah, your, sure. time your time is coming, man. It's coming. Whoever's at whoever, whoever's at the top of that belt when you get there, you want yeah. do you want do well with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now let's give well. a. No, I appreciate that. Sure. Let's give a quick promo for Boots tonight, right? So let's talk about it. I know Philly, real Philly. How's it go down? And obviously, you know that this is a lineup for Crawford. That's Team Crawford right here, the businessman. So we got to talk about it. Let's go. Inside five. Oh my In goodness. Inside five. It might not get past three. You talk about Mister Catch Your Body? Yes, sir. That's who you talk about? Yeah. You see, one thing about boots, it ain't no such thing as a waiting out process. Mm. We, we ain't gonna stand in the middle of the ring and do this and look at each other first round. Oh, they had that conversation me. early. Hey, they was feeling each other out the first two rounds. That don't make no fucking sense where boots from. A boop, a boop bop, a boop bop bing, a boop boop boop, that's a boop bop bing. Hey, hey, Gilly, hey, Gilly, hey, Gilly, hey, Gilly. Well, you know, sometimes, you know, offense can be a detriment, too. Sometimes you might just gotta wait it out and get some certain style fighters. Sometimes you just gotta sit, sit on that back leg and wait for that shot to open up. Being offensive is not always the, the correct way to go. I'm gonna just tell you like this. I'm gonna tell you what Boots Stop told me. Offense is defense. I said Boots. Ooh. I said Boots. Okay. Why you don't never sit down in the corner? He said, why would I sit down when we spar four minute rounds and take 30 second breaks in the gym and I spar 15 rounds straight? And I, I, said, I said, what about when you in a war? And you know what he said? I will never be in a war. My defense is too good. I respect that. Hey, you can't really say it like that. You can't. I respect that. That's Boots, man. Boots is really real, though. Like, he was one of the ones that's for sure, bro. All I, I I'm going to say is, I ain't going to say no names on here. But Boots knocked the heavyweight out in the gym. And you I know I just I seen him knock a couple people out. <laughs> Real shit. Hey, you from Philly, Gilly, so <laughs> No, no, no. We, we what niggas what, what niggas don't understand is as Boots go up and wait, it's gonna get worse. But wait, hey Keyshawn, I got a counter for him though, real quick. Ready? So listen, Gilly, when you had parents on your show. Right, he goes and tells you, "What are you gonna do when you're not listening to the corner, of your dad?" You know what I mean? When it gets it gets real creepy, and you know he's telling you to stay sharp on your jab, and you're not listening. Those are the dark times. You didn't really have an answer for Terrence Crawford when when he said that to you on your show. Let me ask you a question. You ever see Floyd Mayweather have any dark times? Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. I don't, I don't even remember one nigga. That was like Marcus Madonna gave him a little bit of trouble. Nah, um, Trigger Shane Mosley hurt. Trigger Shane Mosley is hurt. I'm Castillo. a meat. Bro, let me Castillo. just say. He's talking about Ta problems. He's talking Ta about problems. Like, let me just say fight. something. I got you. I got you. Sugar Ray. Castillo Sugar gave a problem throughout the whole fight. Sugar Shane Mosley landed a fucking punch. Two punches. And then got his ass whipped. So I'm talking about a yeah. fucking good old Jane Fonda workout. Whipped his ass. This is a boxing match. You're going nah, to get fucking punched sometimes. Now I get it. He he's saying like you had like in your in your last fight, right? That guy was he kept coming. He kept coming. He was awkward. He was tough. He made it tough for you. It was a tough fight for you. You you admitted it, even though you looked good doing it. But it was a tough fight. Madonna was a very tough fight for Floyd. There was no it's a bit about it. He had to run it back. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you who else was tough for Floyd. Cotto was tough. 
home too. Yeah, he said he was too big. <coughs> Physically but Floyd, Floyd a bad man. He can box, man. Let me just say this. A lot of fight, uh, Augusta, Augusta, uh, oh, Augusta, when you uh, fight an elite Augusta fighter, that shit going to be tough. A little bit. When you fight an elite fighter that got 250 amateur fights, they done fought for everybody, all different types of styles. Leo Santa Cruz was tough for Tank until Tank fucking iced him. He's a great champion, too. But, but get me, before you ice skate out of here, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about Boots and Crawford. How do you see that fight? I see Boots and Crawford being right here and Boots being younger. That, now, if you, you tell me... Younger, now? now, listen. If you tell me that Terrence Crawford mentality at 36 years old was his same mentality that he was at 26, you would be lying like a motherfucker. Because every box to say, nah, when I was 26, I was willing to run into an Amtrak train head first to get that fucking money. At 36, this is about me being with the kids and preserving my fucking body and being able to speak right when this shit is done. So if you yeah, but he's not showing two, signs of that. Listen, if you put two fighters that's on the same level, well, one of them is willing to run into an Amtrak train head fucking first. Who you fucking picking? Now, hold on, Gilly. Hold on, hold on. I got a rebuttal for that now. Because, you know, I'm in the Terrence Crawford camp now. Terrence Crawford's next opponent. Terrence Crawford's next opponent is a dog, bro. A young, hungry lion. And he got him beat him. No. And, 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 and Gilly, he moved up to 54 to fight his young, hungry lion. Exactly. But but all, all I'm saying is I'm just what you right? saying, saying that he don't got that same drive and saying no, he's still fighting these younger cats. No, listen, listen. To get this to get listen, to get the big listen, fight. Listen, you could be a young hungry lion, but guess what Terrence Crawford see? All that nigga flaws. He like, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I would have hit that nigga right there. Oh, oh, he threw that? Oh, I would have hit that nigga with some shit. You ain't seeing none of that shit when you see Boots. Me and Boots watched the Errol Spence and, and Terrence Crawford fight together. It was at Gilly Fest. 